So what does a panic attack actually look like? Well, this is one of the most accurate representations of a panic attack that I've ever seen in media. And it comes from Breaking Bad. So you'll notice here, it looks like Hank is completely fine. He's walking, greeting people. It seems like it's just any other day. But if you look closely, and this is a testament to Dean Norris's amazing acting, you can just tell that something isn't quite right on his face. There's some kind of worry in there. And he's really giving it away with all of this fidgeting, moving his hands. There's really some pent up energy there. So as Hank enters the elevator, this is where things start to get real. Just as the doors close, his body gets a flood of adrenaline and all of these overwhelming physical symptoms start happening. The way they portrayed this is really realistic. He's holding onto the rails as if he's losing his balance. He's having shortness of breath. His heart is racing at 100 miles an hour. And that blur effect there is something that really does happen. Your pupils dilate and your vision can become distorted and everything just looks weird. He doesn't necessarily know what's going on. It just feels like something is wrong, as if he's dying. Now, this is really great attention to detail. That noise in the background... <sighs> It's the same noise from when Hank unalived Tuco. Now I just watched both scenes and even it's making me emotional because I know what these panic attacks can feel like. So that ding, I mean, it is kind of funny because you hear this bell and then oh, suddenly everything's okay. But it's very clear here that Hank is exhausted. He went through something physical in that moment. It's not just something in the mind. His body was reacting as if it was in a life or death situation. So yeah, just my thoughts on that. Um, a really amazing scene and really realistic portrayal.